Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Popcat. I'm a bit self-conscious about my butt chin. Yeah, I've got a bit of a butt chin and I've, I've always felt a bit weird about it. <laughs> I used to wear the bed. Pop it one. I can't hear what any of you guys are saying at all. <laughs> I actually can't. And director Carl. I've noticed these shoes untied as well. So you what? Your shoes Why untied. Why did you speak up, Jackson? Your shoes untied. Oh, thank you. So how about the new intro, guys? <laughs> I'll just leave fix it. it. Do you untie my shoes? I think the level, no. it might have been a bit loud. Yeah. <laughs> new, new intro, new set. This week, we hit record on the camera. Or, so, or did we? <laughs> hopefully, Audience only you know. <laughs> hopefully we didn't. Audio <laughs> listeners, you might be eating well. Why is that camera flashing? It's flash, flashing orange. Jordan, nothing's wrong. <laughs> this week is perfect. <laughs> okay. We got the new set. We got the new intro. And guys, I went to a party on the weekend. Wow. Ooh, Dude, I get a little round of, round of applause. Well done. Well, did you touch grass? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, didn't actually touch any grass. But any ass? Um, <laughs> oh, nice! No, not that either. But I'll tell you what, I did have a good time. <laughs> so, okay, story. <laughs> <Love a> story. <laughs> thank, you that sa- thank, you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for that sound effect, No, rivals. so I went to this party and I didn't know many people except for like a small group of friends, like the five people that I was there with. Um. And so I think I think you got invited to this party as well, yeah, Peter, but you I, I couldn't go. Yeah, I dropped in earlier, book, but I had stuff on the weekend, so I couldn't stay. Um, so I didn't really know many people there. Went with the classic technique of getting really drunk. Smart. No, Zach, you never do uh, that. I, no, I usually don't, but this time I decided to get a little bit maggoted. So, <laughs> and I became the life of the party. No, there was this thing that I kind of cringed at the next day, but in the moment, myself and everyone else was loving it. So what we did... Uh, the person was having like speeches for their birthday and they had like a big karaoke machine. Well, it's not a karaoke machine. It's one of them party machines. that's like a speaker and a microphone. Yep. May have spoiled a, a bit there by saying it was a karaoke machine because I saw the microphone and I was like, oh, are we doing karaoke? And <laughs> for some reason, Drunk Zach really wanted to get a bit of karaoke going at this party where no one was really doing that. Yep. <laughs> there wasn't really the space to do that. But then suddenly I was forcing someone to play a thousand miles <laughs> and I was going off. I was like looking at it in hindsight. I must have been quite drunk, but I was like running, dancing around the room, screaming my lungs out, like make them away downtown. You know, That's impressive. That's it, Good. To the point of, I would be doing the and holding the mic out to a random person. <laughs> <laughs> Except people were loving it. They'd actually be like, "And I need you." Then I'd go and find someone else. And I knew none of these people. <laughs> this is well their done. first impression of me. First and last. Dude, they must have gone home. They must have gone home and be like, "Who the fuck was that guy? Who invited him?" In a good way. In a yeah, good way. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. But then we like play played a few drinking games. Always a good way to meet people. But yeah, I just thought about that and I was like. Oh, yeah, I did do that last <laughs> night. And then, man, the extra confidence alcohol gives you. It's pretty powerful for you. Kids, don't do it, but would recommend it to any adults out there. Maybe don't recommend it to adults. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that was, that was my weekend. I had a very healthy weekend. I played a shitload of Frisbee. I drank was, a uh, lot of water. Yeah, I drank <laughs> a lot. I got really wet because it's winter. <laughs> it, it's hard, man. It's, it's so annoying standing so out So you were rain. wet and hard. Yeah, I was wet. I was hard. Did you touch the D? I was tossing the D around like it was oh, yeah. nobody's business, oh. man. That's actual Wait, frisbee what's lingo. The D? Disc. A disc. The D is a disc. That's frisbee. That's frisbee lingo. But like getting syllable. a D is like a defense. Oh, okay. So like, uh, Wait, you know. so there's two Ds. Uh, it's you got to touch the D to get the D. That's how they say it. So it's a frisbee. It's defense. More for defense. Okay. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. A lot healthier. <laughs> Jackson, I want you to tell yeah. us about the, the Twitter thing that oh, you've done recently. So we got, uh, I put out a uh, tweet saying, please come and ask us some questions. And boy, did we get some questions. Terrible, terrible idea by Jackson. How many questions were there? There was, and we're counting still, at this point, 674 responses. And we're answering them all in no, today's no, podcast. No, so let's no, get a wriggle no. on, fellas. The problem is, is you didn't give them enough direction. You know, if there's yeah. like a... People criticise movies for having bad acting. 
And I'm like, yeah, but what if they were just given terrible direction? That's like Anakin. Exactly. He's copped it. Mm. Exactly. And I think that the, behind the, scenes. the audience may cop a bit of hate today for having some dog shit questions. But to <laughs> be fair, Jackson didn't give them a lot to work with. Well, um, what did you say? Just ask us a question. I said, ask us brilliant questions. So there was direction, actually. Okay. What oh. was the most brilliant question you can pull out of there? Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> where do I start? I mate? mean that in a sarcastic so way. What's the shittiest one? What is oh, the shittiest one? Who would win, an ant or a tiger? Oh, well, we've well, already Jordan, discussed you're the that. You have to check the underdog's freaking presentation video. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you thought it was just a random question? This is a shit question. Yeah, we, did. we released the, um, the underdog's that TED Talk video recently. this week, right? Yep. I think we filmed it a few weeks ago. It was last week. We missed this Saturday. No, Whoops. you know what? It was on the 7th of the 7th was when we recorded that video. I remember because all of Jackson's slides were saying that he made up the entire presentation on the day. Yeah. Which checks out because both me and Jordan also did that. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, did you spend a couple of days on it? Or you just... the, the day before. Day before, oh, mate. Look at you, mate. Fiend. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty organized. Top student. Yeah. yeah that video nice. ended up being so good for how like we just all did a presentation like morning of that was very up. fun we should do more of that if people want it i think people i think people liked that idea i watched it back and just your presentation jordan That's oh so man funny. it reminds me of like the high school awkward checking palm cards <laughs> big vibes on that yeah no that was a great time i was dying in the audience you guys have Ever do any... Uh, I'm assuming we're just not answering that ant-tiger question. No, so it's already been answered. Going on a tangent. Did you guys <laughs> ever had any bad presentations at school? At school. Oh. I got one that Peter will probably remember. I did a whole presentation on why the moon landing was fake. I think you talked about this before. You the have. Podcast. You on the pod or in a video? Yeah, yeah, I think you have. Oh, well, Very that's my story. It. Yeah, I genuinely believe the moon landing was fake in high school. Well, well do you have proof and against then, it now? Well, everyone laughed at me, so I just joined the club of thinking oh, it's real. Sheep, deep, da deep down, I'm not a sheep. <laughs> so what, you like, yeah, it was ironic, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, guys, if you look at the flag on the moon, it can't be blown because there's no wind on the moon. Then people are like, you're a fucking idiot. And then I go, oh, yeah, joking. <laughs> Haven't they seen Inception? Wait, what's it called? In Interstellar. 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 What? Inception, the moon landing was a dream. <laughs> Interstellar, oh. they say the moon landing was fake. Interesting. No, they don't. Yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Interstellar. I we watched a it. different movie. Interstellar. We need Google. Interstellar. Can you just keep yelling Interstellar, at, please? At the start, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's good that we faked the moon landing. That was your takeaway from Interstellar? Yeah, that <laughs> happens in it. I swear. Jordan hasn't seen the rest right? of the movie. I'm, <laughs> I don't I, I don't, I'm not confident enough to call it wrong. Hey, Google. <laughs> it's not, Did we land on the moon? Working. Oh my god! Yeah. So any any bad presentation? No, I was actually so we had this like you guys all know what I mean, PIAC, but it's this like extension thing you had in primary school where yeah. you'd go to like we a different that. school. Yeah, yeah. I mean the other people in the audience because it's oh, an Australian yeah. thing. <laughs> True. But um, you go to a different school and do like an extracurricular course on like one day a week. Yes. The smart and I remember, kids. The way it worked is that you put in like your four top preferences, and then hopefully you got given one of those. Yeah. And the courses I put in my top preferences, uh, there was. The one where you go to the aquarium and you learn about like the fish and the zoo one and the chocolate making one. And then I was like, oh, I don't know what to put as my fourth one. And there was one called Chatterbox. And I was like, Chatterbox. All right, whatever. What? I, I don't know. I, I talk way too much. I'll put Chatterbox down. Obviously, that's the fucking one I get. Fourth preference. Oh. And it was about making speeches. The whole thing. Oh, and so wow. I actually got good at making speeches early yeah, on. Even though it sounds I, more valuable I than anything I fucking else. hated it. It was, it was so hard. But that would have been valuable. That's no, true. he could have made us chocolate every week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we missed out. Don't worry, I did that course later. Oh, <laughs> it was a hasn't complete made waste of time. Chocolate. I didn't learn anything. I've definitely listened to more speeches than <laughs> the amount of chocolate you've personally <laughs> baked for me. So no, it was definitely good to do. In I just wanted to pick something fun though. But yeah, dude, when you're like year four, having a whole class of people try to do public speaking to each other is just Insane. like so hard and painful. And oh my lord, dude, it was not good. I don't know. Something happened. I don't know if my brain grew, but in like year. No, it didn't. <laughs> I feel like in high school, I, <laughs> I started to get really nervous for speeches. And then I could do this thing where I'd shake a bit. Dude, yeah. I still do that. Yeah, I probably do as well. I just haven't done a speech in ages. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to shake. Oh no. And then you shake more and it just never ends. It's oh, like, yeah. Josh nodding his head over there. You, that happened to you? Yeah. Dude, yeah. it happens to me, and it's like, I know I'm not nervous, yeah. but your body just does it anyway. It just does it, it and commits. The worst thing, you're holding a piece of paper, and it's like, 
<laughs> yeah, like you're just exactly. like waving it around like a fan. So then I started to just like put my paper like I'd be holding a whole book or something, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just put the paper on the book. I'm like, I'm just gonna read off of this. John's handcuffed himself yeah. to the wall, and he's like, so uh, the, the article I read. John we- walks onto the stage in a straight jacket. <laughs> hey guys, today my talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't remember. Like, I don't. don't I always did good in speeches. I think I just over prepared so much, so I wouldn't have to be holding the paper so much. Mm. If that makes sense. Speeches that were for me the freest marks because yeah, if you get I there and sound of... confident. It's just like oh, that's yeah. an easy. I mark. always got good marks for speeches. Yeah, compared but I hated to essays, because like with an essay, right, you can just keep looking over it, looking over it, looking yeah. over it. That's ah, I'm not there for that shit. A no, speech, no, no. one and done. One and done. You know, you're at, it's out of the way. And 100%. As long as you don't crumble, you'll probably do all right. Yeah. Mm. You know what my biggest problem for speeches was? What? I had a little baby bitch voice. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking late bloomers rise up. You try doing a speech when you're the only one in the class whose voice hasn't broken. Oh, no, Whoa, you guys. <laughs> I'm to here to say to the sp- audience, it's fine if your voice hasn't broken yet. It don't matter. You can still do six <laughs> nah, speeches. That's really it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. No, they didn't believe you. They thought you were doing a bit. If Jackson did my speech, everyone would probably be converted. Oh, damn, he's got a good point. We'd have the fake moon theory along with the flat earthers. I wasn't really on board and that low voice came out. <laughs> Ooh. Should we get another question? Oh, yeah, let's get an actual the question this time. The, the ant versus tigers. <laughs> yeah. okay. One ant versus one tiger. My money's on the tiger. You actually picked out some good ones, right? This one's uh, very interesting. If Kogu began to grow one inch taller with every passing week, how much time before the rest of you would take notice and attempt to take action? Or how would you attempt to take action? Take action. <laughs> take yeah, so take it out, boys. What would you do? He's getting too tall. tall. Uh, shrink him down. How would I you think, stop me? I think it would take me at least three or four weeks I was to thinking notice. Three. Yeah. Three inches. That's quite a lot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but you're just tall. <laughs> In some situations. <laughs> <laughs> three inches is a lot, right, guys? In yeah, others, not it. so much. Because <laughs> uh, then. Yeah, but you're already tall. Like if if Jordan grew three inches, I would notice pretty pretty immediately. Because he's your height, but you're already out of my eye level. So like I don't, I already don't see you. You're already yeah. just looking at his chest, but then suddenly cock in the head. You're like, <laughs> that's, <laughs> hang on. You Holy look like, that's shit. A lot of inches. Yeah. Oh my God. When someone's sound. No, no, no. I'm like saying his whole body's growing up. Is yeah, what but I'm that's a, I'm a long way from cock in the head. Is Dude, pe- yeah, kids are going to download the soundbite of you saying, suddenly cock in the oh, head. Oh no. <laughs> You've got to try to be a teacher one day. You're not getting it's anything It's not looking done. good every day that passes. I think maybe Stop I should. Stop saying suddenly cock in the I head. Maybe I should leave. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm more curious about this take action side of things. Uh, that's my I'm imagining like question. <laughs> what is action. the what's like the opposite of a stretching rack? Maybe like a hydraulic press, just yeah. like top to bottom, just squishing you down. Because you grow when you sleep, is that right? So uh, yeah, Peter? yeah. When you stand, <laughs> you end the day like a centimeter or oh, fucking forty percent of an inch. Yeah, uh, you end that much shorter, shorter every day. Yeah, because you've been standing, and then you grow when you sleep. So the, you would just make me stand up the whole time, or sleep standing up. Jackson, if you chucked enough all-nighters, would that just save the problem? Like, we could find out. Just stop sleeping away, and then it'll you, reverse the growing process. I don't think keep shrinking if you keep standing up. <laughs> you oh, would. Just well, forever. You get a chance to spring back, do you? Oh, exactly. then I sleep and grow, like, 20 inches yeah. back. <laughs> it all comes at once. Wait, so if I just You're like sleeping. a squished accordion person because <laughs> you've been standing up for 30 days straight. With a high voice. <laughs> Four-inch man with a squeaky voice. Oh, so what would you do to take action? You've got nothing. I don't know. You'd have to just go to a new planet. More oh, gravity. Oh, oh, you're sending true. me somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, slap him on fucking Jupiter. And then he's... And you'll shrink. Does that mean if you go to Mar- uh, Mercury, you grow? Mars. Mars you would grow, wouldn't you? Probably. Because there's not as much gravity. But it wouldn't be permanent. If it would give girls too, too big of standards as well. Yeah, fuck. You know, they already have high standards for tall people. Well, some girls. I'm not going to, you know, classify <laughs> all of them. Some people don't care about height, but there are a lot of girls. When I've been on the dating apps before, someone's Tinder bio, like, six feet or fuck off. You know, yeah. like, so Did if there was people I running around two. that were, <laughs> if suddenly seven <laughs> foot... <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, keep it rolling. <laughs> that might be the funniest joke you've ever said. <laughs> I, mi- I missed it. You uh, oh, well. The yeah, Jordan's forever. Just not going to be funny in my mind, I guess. But if the new, <laughs> if the new average... <laughs> if the new average is seven feet, then uh, I think girls are going to get too high standards. Yeah, yeah, you would grow as well, right? Oh, you're saying situation? everyone grows? I don't know. I thought it was like the tall get taller. Wait, an inch <laughs> the every rich week, are eating. Yeah, an inch every week. 
So in a Jackson. year, you'd be what? Like four feet tall or something crazy. Yeah, it'd be pretty, pretty More? big. How long till you die? That was die? a quick math. Good job. That was right. What the hell? I was Dang, slower than you. I was, I was good at math. You got 76% of math. Oh, I, yeah. knew that. I knew that. No, God. actually, my primary school math was pretty unbelievable. Was it really? Was it? Weird was it? flex. The ca- the Possibly the, shoot the sheriff. Was the goat shoot the sheriff. Game. Oh, we're all the goats. So shoot the sheriff popped off back in the day. I think only if you're good at it. Otherwise, it's probably the worst time of your yeah, life. Yeah, no, most <laughs> of the kids did not like it in my class. Like, do our viewers do our viewers know what shoot the sheriff is? Shoot the sheriff. Jordan's playing quick shoot the sheriff just to show. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. Peter versus Jordan. This no, no, is no, no, Peter's I'm, saying I'm it. Jordan. I can't oh, say God. it. Are you guys ready? Oh, so how do you, you play again? You, have to, <laughs> you say have to say it really quick. I give you a mental math thing. Mental math has been quite a while. And then you say though. the number and then bang. Okay. Oh, bang. Yeah, so you'd be like, you know, 10 bang. Oh, All right. oh my okay? God. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. You're shaking. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Four times seven. 21. 28. 28. Bang. Fuck. Dead. Oh, clean. I died. Calm, All right, Zach, you're in. You're in. You're Jackson. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You converse now. No, you have, you're the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. And then I can fight the winner. Are you ready? Ooh. Wait, who said something? I'm. Oh, I'm, sorry. Shh. 48 divided by 8. 12. Bang. That's oh, wait. Not right at all. 6. Bang. <laughs> I don't know if you get multiple tries. Yeah, I don't think you'd... I was spending time because I thought you would shot your shot. You can't shot. just throw shit oh, at the wall. I thought you could keep shooting. Yeah, you shot your shot One, too two, early. three, bang. <laughs> what did they <laughs> promise to do? There's a nasal spray for that. I, right? It's quite <laughs> embarrassing that I was trying to think that entire time <laughs> and I still couldn't get God, it. Don't hit me. I'm going to kill Zach. I'm actually going to Divide was always my weakness. Oh, sorry. Are you going? Yeah, give us one. Okay. Um, three cubed. Nine bang. No, oh, fuck 27 me. Twenty seven bang. <laughs> the uh, slow snipe. <laughs> Dude, that stupidest hard. underdog that upload. That's hard. That's that fun. That's still fun. Why? Oh is wait, wait, fun? hold on. Only people that haven't versed. You two, me and Jordan. Give me, I give me one with Jordan. With this guy. No, <laughs> <laughs> Zach wants redemption. Zach's no, always no, I'm this. the dumbest <laughs> underdog. That's how he got Zach can smash. never finish on a loss. He's such a menace. Like it's, he's the biggest cover of true. one more. The moon landing was fake. <laughs> I'll, I'll and stand then by he it. finishes the speech everyone laughs at him he's like can I do another speech <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish on that one do, that, yeah. that does sound like me Zach I'll give you that comes in the next day he's like I did a presentation on why it's, why it's real <laughs> <laughs> please let me have a go I was actually watching one of the really old um, podcasts and the one where it was like who is the best singer in the underdogs oh I'm fucking salty still at this I know, this. I know exactly so what you're it. gonna say because like Zach like he, he aimed he aimed high Oh, Which he did caused him to fall song. quite f- far. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Because, what like, song did you do? Here's you what did... happened. Peter chose some bullshit. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Blinding Light, fucking shit. Right, and I chose settle. Mariah Carey's hit Still song, salty. All I Want for Christmas Is You, with some beautiful vocal runs that no, I attempted. I, I don't remember it being beautiful, but yeah. Peter had about three notes he had to hit. Well done. He hit that. That's your one plus one and shoot the sheriff. zero. I'll shoot myself. <laughs> I hit zero notes. notes. I, was just, I hit I was at just, least one. I was thinking about <laughs> the starting it. the starting note. I definitely nailed. I was thinking about it because it's funny because Zach was like, "Can I get another go?" <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's was like, "No." <laughs> Can we do it right now? <laughs> no. He's been preparing in his room every morning. That's actually the next question Jackson's got. It's uh, who's the best singer, and we're going to do it again. Can we? <laughs> can we get that one up, Jackson? Who's, just, just who's before, the best singer? No, no, give me a real question. No. Just, just before we go I'm over that, it. when you're talking about height before with people on dating apps, I had the funniest story. I was looking at a friend's, like a girl friend's Tinder as she was going <laughs> through, and it was like this this guy, and his bio was six foot four because apparently that matters. And then I'm like, yeah, all right. So he's trying to be like, he's trying to metagame. People it. have to ask me, Cheeky. but this is it in case. Occupation. That tall guy. Oh. <laughs> that like, was what? me. Fuck off. <laughs> Surely it's better to set expectations low, right? Exactly. You're like five foot nine, but really funny. And then you rock up and you're six no, foot. Like, ro- I don't think they rock up then. Yeah, but then the girls that do rock up, you know they're with you for you, not yeah, just because you're tall. Then they're like, I wanted a little little baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they lo- they would have loved boy. my moon landing speech. <laughs> <laughs> like they want a short king and they're like, oh, what the hell is this? This <laughs> big ogre man. <laughs> that tall guy. Yeah, I don't, don't think any girls ever said, fuck, I wish you were shorter. I, I got girls in the comments, let us know. Do you have a short fetish? Do you want to put them in no, your handbag no and carry them around like video. a chihuahua? No comments. <laughs> I think some either you like tall guys or you don't care. I think that is general. No, I, there's definitely people out there. 
I mean, there's as with everything, there's someone out there for that, but I don't, I don't know. Four foot gang, there's hope. All right, the next question. What do you reckon? There's not a thing for. No, oh, that we probably nothing. shouldn't talk about. Literally that. Yeah. nothing. <laughs> it's just the things we shouldn't talk about. Yeah, <laughs> no, but even that, someone's got a thing for it. Oh, you know? that's why bastard, it's a thing, and we shouldn't bastard. talk about it. I reckon we could probably think of something. Go on. <laughs> no, I, I, I yeah, disagree. Actually. How about Discord moderators? What? Oh, Does someone that's like, like see a Discord moderator, they're like, oh fuck yeah, probably right. The power, the way you position of <laughs> position, of, position power. of power. Oh yeah, put me in the timeout corner. <laughs> I think you, I think I think you need to get more specific. I think it's got to be like furry lives with their mum. Exactly twenty seven and a half Discord moderators. That exactly twenty seven and a half. Whose name thing. is yeah. like specifically Kyle. I think it would be more so someone who doesn't like lambs but likes sheep. Probably what? Not, probably Ooh. not many of them. Actually, I like that. A mutton eater. Oh, yeah. That'd Doesn't be... like the food you're talking about? Well, I was talking about the animal, but the food can count. Is a well. lamb just a baby sheep or am I yes. wrong? Yes. Yeah. So why would you... It's the opposite, opposite right? Question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you like the animal lamb, you probably don't like eating lamb. I don't know. It's yeah, opposite. That's me. I feel like that. Shit, yeah. you can like lambs, but not like lamb. That's true. Did you see our uh, Gordon Ramsay got in trouble for doing his TikTok with the lambs? I did. Come here, come oh, here. Oh, it's so Yummy funny. Or something. It's, he's like in a pen of lamb, and he's like, "Which one am I going to eat first? Mm, yummy, yummy!" He's like walking around. These lambs are running <laughs> what if he around. He just leans over and takes a bite out of the live people lamb. People think it's insensitive. So many people eat lambs. I know. It's it's literally like I'm confused. If you're happy eating meat, then you probably shouldn't be too offended by this, but. Uh, Chuck's another question, Cogdog. All right, we got one, f- got one for each person. Yours first, Zach, is what oh is your gosh. favorite porn category? Oh, easy stepsister. All right, not going to get a question about that. Possibly. Is that a category now? Yeah, let's not get stuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> let's just move along. Go on. Uh, pop it one. Where will you get good at Smash? Damn, great Man. question. Got him. Yeah. Oh, got him. Out of the 670, you picked that. I think these are the sort of joke. These are, these are the joke ones. Cogger, when are you going to upload? Got me again. Got him. Right, this is no, the No, he's actual. uploading Smash. This is Smash the content. Content. joke one. This is a zinger. Hopcat, hmm, there's nothing special about you, I guess. <laughs> What's your favourite sex position? Ask your mum, motherfucker. Oh, oh take that, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Joseph. <laughs> Stepmum or? Uh, real mum. <laughs> I'll take real. Right. That was weird. If you could give a food of your choice a wacky twist, for example, oranges bounce like a tennis ball, what would it be <laughs> and why? <laughs> Man, I love the wacky twist. Yeah. Is that, did you say our favourite food? No, just, uh, oh, let me check. Hold on. <laughs> if you give a food of your choice, so whatever you want to do. Mm. Oh, man. An orange. Imagine if you could just eat an orange and then, and then have another bite. That'd be good. I guess bananas as a boomerang would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Throw it around. Comes back. That's sick. That's a good idea. Do you want to try it with that one? No. <laughs> that one will not well, come back. My favorite food is burritos. What and I feel like twist be? one of one of my favorite things to do with food is you know when you get to the bottom of the Pringles can and you upturn it and you're like yeah, and you yeah. eat all the Suck Pringle the crumbs yeah the the crumbs at the bottom of the Pringle can yep so I'm wondering if you could somehow do that with like burritos like the tortilla never gets eaten but it's like a burrito that's called a bowl yeah. Oh, yeah, but... <laughs> and then you kind of just, like, drink the weird meat juice left in the end <laughs> yeah. if you want to. I mean, I'm, I'd call juice. it delicious Mexican <laughs> flavour, not yucky meat juice. It's so a wacky twist, I'll give you that. Zach's invented I, okay. bowl. Look, I, I started at the beginning. I didn't think through the conclusion of that. <laughs> but you're right, Peter. I think I did just discover a bowl. <laughs> Speaking of inventing, I didn't get a single email about my umbrella hat. <laughs> we'll save that for another time. Wait, what's a food we could just use as a cheeky umbrella hat? Oh, shit. Sombrero. What's like a what? lot? Oh, yeah, like a, not a, food. a pizza? sombrero. A pizza you can oh, use a pizza hat. Oh, and oh, then yeah, make but it's upside down waterproof. and then the falls. Actually, American no, pizzas have a no. lot of oil. They might already be waterproof. Yeah. Oil and water don't mix. <gasps> <laughs> The pizza wow. umbrella hat could be closer than we think. As long as it's oily, it'll be fine. Call the patent yeah. office. <laughs> We've Whoa, got an invention. Figured it out. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Christ. My, my wacky food. I think I'd make Skittles magnetic. 
That's amazing. Oh, that's oh a good God. idea. <laughs> because yeah, he went last. I had to think quicker I than gone yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just saying I, even better. I had to think quicker. I was like burrito prunes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to just like slap them on the fridge and then pull them off later? Damn, that's, that's amazing. True. And, and then you can like stick them all together. And they'd be all like a ball, and then you just like rip them out. And you like and chain them. Do you guys ever get those rattlesnake egg toys when you're a kid? Yeah. No. Yeah, you could do that with skittles. They're like the two little metal two, balls, two and magnets. they cling together, oh, and they're like, they're like shaped like a. A butt plug, like a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there are lips, but you know. Well, Jackson, we found different uses for that's these was, magnets. You that mean was what me? mine was going to be. Anyway, and you throw them off in the air, they rattle together. Two Skittles throw them off in the air, <laughs> catch them in your mouth. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So you're eating magnets, though. Can you eat magnets? No, they are just are magnetic. You, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you don't replace the Skittle inside with metal. I'm, I'm sure. Wait, doesn't something need to be a magnet to be magnetic or no? Yeah, but this is a fantasy land. Barana, bananas don't boomerang, dude. Oh, sorry. Hang on, don't you need to... <laughs> <laughs> sorry about Don't that. boomerang need to be made out of boomerang. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're, we're coming up with random stuff. It's true. Jordan applies logic for the first time in his life just at the wrong time. I like magnetic Skittles the best. You've sold me on that. Thanks, man. Jackson has it on his. I was going to say uh, water that you can eat, but that's just ice. It's yeah. like came to my ice. head, so yeah. I take it back. No, that's cool. Doing funky things with water because everyone needs to be more hydrated. Yeah, you this is what I'm really trying to think. Ice. You have to melt it in your mouth and then yeah, turn so it into water. Yeah, so imagine if you could eat it and it wasn't like freezing Room cold. That's just jelly. Food. Yeah, I guess that That's is. That's what happens when people can't have liquids. They have to eat their water. Do you know that? Well, some how, people, if they're like a liquid? choking hazard or something, they have to eat everything. And so they add gelatin powder to their water. Oh, oh, wow. I might do that. And that it's tasteless. Fun. No, it's fucking dreadful. Do not do it. So you're you just eating jelly without the flavor. It's literally just gelatin and water. And it's oh, just wow. to get the fluid in. Is Ooh. gelatin good for you? Uh, I no, wouldn't say it's bad right? for you, but it's not a it's nice substance. Nothing. It's made out of like animal Going parts. up to the horses being like, oh, I'm going to eat your gelatin. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. There's some nice big bones in you. <laughs> so yuck. Gelatin is so nasty. Isn't it also pigs or something? It's just animal hooves just and anything. bones yeah, and right. shit. And you like boil it. It's not nice. Hey, by the way, before we move Efficient. on to another question. Go for it. Where do we get these questions from? Twitter. Well, where are we going to be getting them <laughs> from oh. in the future? Oh. Huge oh. announcement here today, guys. Probably should have said this earlier in the podcast. No, That's but okay. it's you know, we didn't have such a great segue as we just did there. Gonna warm them up. We're starting a Patreon for the Underdogs podcast. And yeah, yeah. Wow. Cheer it up. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. We would love for you guys to go over there and check it out. Check out some of the rewards, which we're also going to be talking about now, which is starting off, which I think is the best one. You're going to get an extra... Extended episode of every single Underdogs podcast. Yeah. We'll hang around, chat with people live. Yeah, that's well. another thing. We're going to be live streaming every podcast. It's going to be somehow less professional in that last 30 minutes. <laughs> it's going to be more unhinged. Yeah, uh, more casual. You're going to get to tune in with us live. You ask get to us hear questions. what Jordan says when we normally cut it out. Ask me questions and I can answer them. Oh, yeah, wow. we've got the, we've run out of Popper One questions of the week. Now you can ask Popper One your question of the week. <laughs> God, and last but bad. definitely not least, the questions that Jackson's reading out now, these were just mm. from Twitter, but we're going to be doing a lot more sort of games with our community, getting some involvement over on the Patreon. It's only five bucks a month and you get four podcasts a month. So I think that's an all right deal. Oh, I might just go and subscribe to the Patreon but right I, now. I'm also it. the one you're paying, but <laughs> you know, make up your own mind. We would love for you guys to support it. Obviously, we don't really make any money off the podcast yet. No. It's very non-lucrative, but <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I can taste the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but YouTube pays us very little for the podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we do Oz. it because we we really like doing this. Like, this is fun as hell. And when we put it on Spotify, if that ever happens, it pays you even less than that. So you know, I th no, I don't say that yet. It's just a <laughs> it's a good way for us to provide you with more content and have a bit of a smaller, more tight-knit community that we can actually ask these questions yeah. and not get a million bad answers. Yeah, so we can get 65 bad questions <laughs> rather than 650. And there's more chance of you actually, you know, getting to appear. So maybe they won't just rickroll us. Maybe they'll ask some decent questions. Yeah. yeah. Like in the past, we've asked for like stories about Valentine's Day, mm. stuff like that. So if you want to share your story and have mm. us like read it out and stuff, that's where we'll be taking this stuff from in the future. So yeah, that's check it out. And if five hundred of you do it, we'll get really drunk. Oh yeah, that's a, a <laughs> that's a that's a good incentive. We, Zach we, was I'm, not on board until we suggested that either. 
<laughs> yeah, I hate having to hang out with people I don't really <laughs> like very much. Yeah, we might get some karaoke if uh, we get to this goal. Oh so basically, my. if we get 500 patrons. Okay, so let, let, let's just break it down to the simplest form. Yeah, Drunk stream. Uh, podcast. Extra long podcast. Yeah. Extra long drunk podcast. And we only need 500. I'm to say only need, but I would... It's a it's a big yeah. goal to hit. So it's patreon.com slash underdogs pod. Pod. It'll pod. be in the description anyway. One more time, patreon.com slash underdogs pod. Go over there, check it out. Even if you don't have the money to support, you know, you can just have a read. And yeah. <laughs> Keep that just shit and start saving. <laughs> 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 Bookmark that mother flipping page. Yeah, just thought I should say that before we get into too many more questions. Yeah, that that's that's, that's sort of our plan for the future. The weekly ain't stopping. You, you guys thought we couldn't do what? 10, 15 episodes weekly podcast? We kind of did miss like two, right? Shh, we oh. fucking made it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Next Good question. Plug over. Thank you, Zach. Good call. Oh, this one's a bit of a, a grim turn, but what's something in life you had to learn the hard way? Ooh. Ooh. Something in life I had to learn the hard way? way. Jordan, you look like you've learned a few hard lessons. <laughs> what does that mean? Your hair looks a bit wild. Jesus. You look like you've learned to not put forks in a socket right. today. Uh, Jordan learned not to drop the soap. I remember that one because I was there. Behind. <laughs> nice joke, Zach. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Fuck. Great joke, Zach. What? Um, I don't know. Most things you learn the hard way, I guess. Like, I think I touched the, bu- the barbecue once with my hand. And it's yeah. burnt. I never forget, I was working with my friend and there's like a glad wrap sealer for fruit and veg and it says, warning, hot, do not touch. And I'm watching him and he reads it and then he touches and he goes, fuck, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, um, I should have seen that one coming. Um, yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know. I I something I really learned to do the hard way, I guess that relationships aren't always going to work out. That's that's one. You yeah. Don't oh, things yeah. Are, you don't have to force it. And that's a hard way. And that's a hard lesson. Uh, that's true. Sorry, a bit of a dark turn. I've got one that's Go also on. pretty grim. Um, someone else's happiness is never your responsibility. Oh, bang on. Like, mm. it, it might feel like it is, especially when it's someone's close to you, but you got to understand that it is not your problem at the end of the day. You've got to put yourself you can first. You can try and help, but it's not like you should, they shouldn't be relying on you for their happiness. Mm. Just tell them to be happy and move on. <laughs> tell them to work on other stuff. Yeah, no. They're just don't, relying on you. Please, please don't actually wall. do that. Anyone that's happy and is like, someone's like, oh, I'm sad. Don't just say, just be like me. I'm happy. <laughs> Absolute noob. <laughs> I yeah. was sad once, tried being happy. It worked out great. It's easy to fall into guilt trips with some people. Yeah. But then you got to sure. realize that you don't owe them anything, you know? Come on, Jordan. Here we go. What? I already said mine. What um, was it? The barbecue. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't know. I Jordan's feel like everything you learn of all time. No, fire some things, equals hot. Some things you learn because people tell you not to do it, and then you see someone else get done by it, and you're like, "No, oh, yeah." That, that's more. probably mine. Huh? Have to eat more. Do you, what, why had you, you learned learn that, that the hard way by what starving to death? No, by having to eat more. What? All right, we're done with you, talking. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's probably something to do with like doing YouTube, mm-hmm. and then I went through a couple other jobs first, and then like. Didn't do YouTube for a bit. I don't really know. It's not like a lesson because I knew the whole time that the YouTube thing was the way to go. And my mum was like, get a real job. And I, I was like, okay, I did. That. And then I was like, this yeah. sucks. Did you have to learn to follow your dreams? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, follow yeah, your yeah I guess. True. And you learned that the hard way by not following it for a couple of years? Yeah. And also my uni degree, uh, I went and did a science degree when I initially wanted to do a filmmaking degree. Mm. Look at me now. I would have fucking loved doing a filmmaking degree. Instead, I'm watching YouTubers tell me about cameras and stuff. Like, that's my passion. I fucking hate YouTubers. And I didn't do it at <laughs> uni because I didn't follow my dream. Damn, that's deep. Following my dreams. That's what I learned the hard that's way. That's actually a really good one. But it, it also kind of seems like the easy way because I'm very lucky and I've somewhat achieved like my dream with YouTube. You years down into your freaking mm. yeah. office job or whatever. All right, so what we learned today? Follow your dreams. Don't touch the barbecue. Don't touch the barbecue. <laughs> Jordan said some shit about eating or something. Don't Eat starve food. yourself. Eat food. Uh, relationships are hard. All right, if you could acquire one trait from each of the other three underdogs, what would you pick? Huge hog. From H- which? Oh, <laughs> I see. Isn't that funny? Imagine if you could trade 
wangs. <laughs> that is funny. With, any, with like the three other underdogs. But it's a blind pick. But it's a blind pick. <laughs> Who would you choose? Who are you going with, fellas? Well, I've seen I've... yours, Zach. Really? Yeah. Oh, go on, oh I don't remember when this. When you were too drunk and you had to get you out of the shower. That does sound like me. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Jackson's like, well, I'm not fucking training with him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, be very careful about your knee centers, Cogger, to expose this man. I would go with Jackson. He's tall. Yeah, tall you know? is, uh, is a That's... thing to it. And we just compared hands, and yours were bigger, bigger hands. You got long fingers. Is there actually any science to that? Yeah, it's, it is proportional, not but not me. completely. It, nah. it makes up for some percentage of it, you know. <laughs> and I hear Jackson grows an inch every day. <laughs> <laughs> not what you think either. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go with Jackson as well. Just on Wait, the what? Height. What was, was the, the question? question? <laughs> I was taking his cock. <laughs> Everyone's just taking Jackson's Wait, cock. Wait, what happened? What, what was the question? It was a personality trait, by the way. <laughs> no, oh. it didn't say that. It said a trait. Oh, I did, it say, did say personality one trait. trait. You're right. Yeah, oh, man, one maybe I'd take Jackson's height. Jackson's cock. <laughs> <laughs> we all just want to be Jackson. <laughs> just look like me. Nothing personality wise. Just Jackson's mustache. I'm not taking Jackson's haircut. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, I'm leaving Jackson's haircut in the bin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's fresh. You Jackson's going to have trim. traded so much shit. He's a short, <laughs> tiny, dicked, <laughs> terrible hair. No offense. Not funny. <laughs> no, I get to keep this. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, we no. go. Um, okay, honest answer. Maybe eyesight. Oh, my God. Who's got 2020 in here? No, I, don't, I don't wear glasses. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Is, take Peter's eyes. You actually take? And you got blue eyes. I'm swapping those eyes out. Mm. Frame one. Wow. dragon. Fair mm-hmm. enough. I was thinking more conceptually, like Jordan's dedication. Do I have oh, dedication? shit, that's deep. I think you do have good dedication. You do. got the most dedication. What? No, I don't. I've been real bad with that lately. I'm, I used, I sure used to. But he traded it. Yeah, met some guy on the street that was very uh, non-motivated, but he had a huge way. Wouldn't change his yeah. He's going like, to start a new YouTube channel and get a million subs. It's called just like, how I got the smallest dick in the world. I put the D in ADHD. That's nice. Cool. Are the eyes annoying? Your eyes? Like, not really, but I'm kind of perfect in every other way. So don't, <laughs> don't know really what else I'd take. the barrel to pick something. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's not that, that, how, how do they, they work? work? You gotta take out your eyelids. It's annoying contact. in the like few situations, maybe a couple times a month where I forget. So it's like I put contacts in in the morning, they stay until at night, and I'm like, yeah, I can see perfect yeah. for ninety nine point nine percent of my life. Then there'll be one moment where I take my contacts out, and I'm like, okay, let me just put my glasses on. Can't find them. Then I'm like, shit, got to find my glasses now. And I'm walking around for 20 minutes, like squinting at different areas on the it's floor because I'm, I'm blind as hell. Oh, wow. Yeah, the glasses is, are yeah. mostly see-through. They're hard to find if your vision's yeah, fucking yeah, blurry. Yeah. I was like, what is this statement? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they made a glass dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like mostly invisible, which makes them very difficult right. to find. That's right. true. Dude, so imagine how screwed you'd be before the glasses got invented. When did they get invented? That's a good question. Natural selection. Honestly, I shouldn't be around. Yeah. A lot of people probably shouldn't, should they? Definitely not you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I should see. dude, that's rude. No, Jordan makes some dope cave paintings. <laughs> <laughs> what? I can have a good look around. What would you guys pick? I was, yeah, so I take Jordan's dedication. <laughs> Looks oh, like you guys already took each other's pants today. <laughs> oh, my man. <laughs> Pant gang. <laughs> oh, no. We're so white. Don't, I hope we're so jar, white. Jar, we didn't cut to that camera, did we? We weren't on. <laughs> oh, I think we're God. on Peter and Jackson's camera when that was going on. Can, we, was, can we rewind and cut back? And anyone oh, who shit. was tabbed out. Audio <laughs> listeners, nah. we fucked up a handshake. It was just a crime of a fist bump attempt. <laughs> Now, back and forth three times. Now, let me remind you guys of a few episodes ago on the podcast where I said my superpower would be never fucking up a handshake. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Here it we are. I'm stewing in embarrassment, but I could have avoided this it, problem. It would have came in clutch. With a very subtle superpower. Yeah, I thought that one sucked at the time, but now I've seen how bad it is. <laughs> I'm on board. My latest video, I did the exact same thing. Fucked up a handshake with a random guy. Oh, and, no. Uh, it's always awkward. Because it's the first time you meet people too, so it gets you off on the wrong foot already. How do you fuck up a handshake? What are you doing wrong? It's it's here. Let me let me. Uh, it, I Jackson, feel like it's always other people mess it up. Like Jackson just followed my lead there. That was that was nuts. Oh. All right, let's do a different one. I don't know. I feel like we so should. So what you're have saying? This. <laughs> oh oh. See, he just followed my lead. He's he's so That's good right. at it. So Jackson's a handshake bottom, and you're a top. Well, he could lead, and I'd probably fuck it up because I'm bad at them. Oh, I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, but you got to go in with confidence, you know, because. I think the reason you might feel like you fucked it up because you're waiting for them to do something you don't know what to do. Maybe if you, you go with you can guess. make them feel weird about it. 
Oh Maybe yeah, I just go like, yeah. and then they're like, what? No, 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 and then no, you're no, like, no, me no. and all the homies. That would make you the weird one. No, no, me and all the homies do that one. It's in, bro. Fuck, you, you know, haven't heard of that? It? Where'd you, you been? Seen it? Come on, man. Where'd you been, no, dude? Of course and I'll just be behind Zach gassing him up like, yeah, man, you haven't seen it? You guys turn around. Oh, man. I reckon you need to go into more confidence, Zach. Go into more confidence your next handshake. Oh, this is the handshake. All right, I'm I'm taking Peter's confidence and his eyes. Fuck it. <laughs> Peter's hand. No, I feel like I'm I'm confident in like half the situations in life and then the other half are just like What's an example I never of one learned. of each? The first half is when he's drunk. Like <laughs> <laughs> And I am drunk for half of my life, so it checks out. No, it's like public speaking and stuff that YouTube anything YouTube's helped me with. Yeah. I was pretty not confident before YouTube, mm, but yeah. then like had to branch out a bit and like uh, also meeting more people in my life. So like that sort of thing I'm more confident in. Yeah. What I'm not confident in, it's just like any new situations. Like like, like touching other people's hands. They're terrifying. Like yeah. Having, don't do that on YouTube. Having sex. Oh, you know. terrifying. Where does it go? Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Never tried. <laughs> right here. I'd take uh, Zach's commitment. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> oh man! Um, Good advertisement for the Patreon because this is a banger podcast yeah, episode. I reckon. Up. And we're going to be talking for an extra thirty to forty. Minutes Jordan, what would at you the take? End. What would I take? Um, I don't know. Maybe Zach's willingness to go out and talk to people. Commitment. That's what I chose. Commitment. Not, not to commitment. The just um, I feel like I'm. You know. You know. And it's like the two people. And it's introverts like introverts and extroverts. I, yeah, I feel like Zach's more the old. Uh, if you're hanging around people, you don't get exhausted. He's extra. Mm. At least more so than me, I'm guessing. So I'll do I don't that. get exhausted, but I could definitely be more of the person that starts that stuff. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like maybe you're more similar to me, Jackson, in mm. terms of the exhaustion of yeah, like. Yeah, I, I get overexposed. Yeah, yeah, right. my energy doesn't get drained too much. Right? Yeah. I'm finding I'm getting more of that as I'm getting older on your guys' side. Yeah, you're getting more like this. <laughs> yeah. Unlucky. But <laughs> hey, it's not. It's not bad. You shouldn't f- try and force yourself oh, to be yeah. something you're not. It's whatever. <laughs> anyway, this segment's about what we'd steal from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be something that you're not, guys. I'll yeah. take Peter's eyes, Jackson's ears. <laughs> what did you take, Jackson? Oh yeah, Jordan's dedication. Oh, Peter. Peter. Peter hasn't taken anything. And I'm yeah, taking I don't know. From Peter. It's He's a, a tough question. Man. I'm the, no, I, but I'm it's hard all to downgrades for Peter. It's really hard to imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to stand by not not wanting to change be something you're not. I think you can just, if you want to well, actually take game, something from Peter. someone, you can <laughs> just do game. it. All right, J- Jordan, right. you got me. There's nothing good Unless, about you. Wait, wait, wait. So Jackson said, if you want to take something from someone, you can just do it. Yeah. But I said Peter's eyes. Well, get him out. <laughs> all right, let's go, Peter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're saying personality-wise. Yeah, you can yeah, work yeah. on it all. You can just, like, yeah, if yeah. you want to be more confident, just be more confident. How yeah. about I make a suggestion for Peter? Yep. <laughs> you should take Jordan's niceness. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll take Jordan's humility. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's humility. He can be a bit more. Uh, oh, that's what is I'd it? Take your confidence, then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, we'll switch, Peter. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Fuck, we really have the perfect specimen between the four of us, don't we? What? What have like I? Like, if you to the if table? you combine <laughs> everyone's no, traits, between your <laughs> dashing good looks and six feet, it's baby. Just Zach with my height and Peter's eyes. <laughs> 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 yeah, I might take Zach's facial hair growing ability. Actually, you oh, know what? Oh, no, you don't want that, man. Fuck. Actually, that's what I'll take. Just no facial hair growing. Fuck the eyes. I'm taking Peter's body. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Take me to dinner first, Zach. <laughs> oh, anyway. I feel like Christian that question's Jackson. run its course. <laughs> yeah, we, how long did that take? Ten minutes? We talked about Wang's part of it. <laughs> wouldn't have it any other way. Is there any sort of uh, video idea that you did or tried to do that just didn't end up working? Would you consider trying <laughs> it again? All my Minecraft cake videos. <laughs> <laughs> but Tell you didn't try them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, you're saying you didn't try? No, that we did try and it didn't work. I couldn't oh, I was trying to think of it. Uh, it can be personal or Mine was the, Yeah, did you ever see was Minecraft? I think it was 10,000 subscriber. Make. Is this like back before anything? Like No, no, it was kind of... I'd been I watched doing it. Smash Bros. I watched it. And the video... The stats, the analytics for the video was like minus 14 subs and made three cents <laughs> or something. <laughs> was for the video stats. <laughs> made three cents and 10,000 K. And so then the follow up is would you try it again? I did try it again at 100,000. <laughs> and? It went a bit better. Did you gain subs? I think I did, yeah. Gained wow. a few. And gained four cents. Yeah, Guys, yeah. subscribe to Pop It at a million subs. <laughs> Who knows how many cakes you'll make? <laughs> I think the only underdogs video idea that we tried and it kind of failed horrendously was 
when we went to the White Studio mm. a few weeks back, you saw the White Studio video on the Underdogs channel, and we said it looked like a joke in the video, but we said like no one that we wanted to film with showed up, so we're doing this instead. Oh, that was a hundred percent real. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was yeah. Fun. We, 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 we should we say what we we're gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna yeah. do one of the videos where it's like there's seven gamers, but one of them that is actually not a gamer, and we have to guess like a jubilee. Video. Well, yeah. we ended up doing that with the shoplifter thing. We did a mini version of it. Yes, we but did with us. Yeah, whereas we were gonna get extras in and a paid actor yeah. to be like the fake gamer. It was like a whole thing. Sophie did a really good job of trying to organize mm-hmm. it. And Multiple like, times. Contact, like finding it. It's really hard to find gamers. Like you wouldn't think so, but because it no, needs no, no. to the be no one is- that we know. Yeah, I think it's also up. gamers that are like gonna be good on camera. Mm, she like she was finding people from diverse backgrounds, so it wasn't like a giveaway. So there'd be like yep. some like yeah. older people, younger people, men, six women, six guys and one girl. Yeah, guess the gamer fake. six. Yeah, fake they've got Dorito dust on their shirt or something. <laughs> and then like yeah, it was a whole thing. And then on the day of it. The actor, the most important person, is like, oh, I thought that was next week. And we're like, oh, and like, I'm at work right now. This is the morning of. Yeah, um, stuff crazy. like that happens Disaster. with videos. And then I think we realized that the video is probably more work than it was even worth. I felt like we were just like, oh, this idea is like, We won't do it again. It's fine, but it's not even that good. The video we ended up doing was great, I thought. Yeah, way better, probably. Yeah. I think it was a one out <laughs> you know of ten we, as well. You know <laughs> what we should have done? This, is, this would have been on Sophie, though. The actor cancels... She says, oh, one of the gamers cancelled, but we'll still go ahead with it. No and then one. it's us trying to guess out of six gamers who the fake one is. And there's no fake. That's great. That would have been amazing if she just didn't tell <laughs> that us. That would have been so stupid. And then at the end, it was just like, you've watched this gotcha. video for nothing. <laughs> wow, that'll make people sub. <laughs> I think yeah, the idea not. we went with was maybe I better. think we'll even do that idea again. Just hire a white studio and go nuts. Yeah, I think what we did was better than what we could have done. Mm, but that's it was, kind of... It was fun just doing that. Like, it did not matter what we did because we'd already, like, failed, I guess. So oh, anything yeah. was a bonus. You can't go down when you hit rock bottom. Yeah, exactly. And then we ended up making something probably better, I think. Yeah. Definitely. definitely any better. any personal channel videos that you've just, like, scrapped completely? A hundred percent, yeah. Heaps. Oh, you're any, a you menace, filmed, Jackson. Jackson? I'm a menace for scrapping stuff. Like, if I don't think it's good, I'm just like, I'll throw it in the bin. Or I pop it away for later, have a look at it. And then don't go back to it? And then don't go back to it. It's you fine. know, it's always kind of interested me because Mr. Beast says this a lot, right? He says... Like, oh, I spent a million dollars on this video, but I didn't like it, so I scrapped it. Which is... It's weird. Because it's more of a real life thing, I think. With the Ludwig run, right? That he gave to Ludwig. Did you yeah. say that? Yeah. That still popped off, right? That's still mm-hmm. getting millions of views. Yeah. Uh, I watched it. I thought it was good. And I'm like, what was so bad about it? Like, this is like probably he has perfectionism, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, he must have insane oh, perfectionism. I think it's yeah. also the <laughs> fact that sometimes you can't fix what he's doing in real life. Like, he does big real life stunts. Where they have like a sumo wrestler, but then they kind of that kind of failed because they just stole whatever yeah. off that. Yeah. In that video, it wasn't quite. I did notice that it wasn't every moment wasn't quite as exciting. Elevated, I would say. Yeah. So, but the thing is, I think I've only ever scrapped one video, which I'll talk about in a little moment. But mostly, my philosophy is even if the recording is so bad. Editing. I can s- usually save it in editing. If you cut it down enough and you add in like funny jokes, you sort of lean into, oh, we keep SDing and the gameplay in Smash Bros sucks. We keep killing ourselves. Then you turn that into a joke in itself. And gameplay can almost always be fixed in editing. So mm. I, yeah, for me, I've only ever scrapped one video and it was like a three hour one me and Peter did. Oh, where yeah. There was the stage one? Yeah, yeah, there was no sound in it. So I started editing it. Then I just got too sad and scrapped the whole thing. Well, that's like technical difficulties do that. Do you reckon you would have completed it anyway if it didn't have the technical difficulties? Oh, I definitely would have made it yeah. if it wasn't for technical difficulties. Have you scrapped anything? Oh, I do recordings that don't turn into videos all the time. Yeah. Because oh, wow. it's just like... Man, sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go, and y- the vibe isn't on. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Because wow. <laughs> he just uploads I've fucking never done anything. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Dude, like, I've, I record, like, you know, I was like, play an online thing, and then after, like, 30, 40 minutes, I'm just having no fun. I did do that. It's going to be, yeah, be an I've, awful I've video. I've done that many times. It's just going to be an awful video. Where I've been like, all right, guys, today I'm doing the world's most elite Mario and I lose the first three matches and I'm like fucking <laughs> throw my controller down. I'm like, we'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> it's funny because I've done that a lot. <laughs> the room we're in right now used to be my bedroom. You wouldn't know it by this amazing set. 
and it's about two meters away from Zach's studio. Oh, so I always him? get the front row seat of Zach's recording attempts. And it's so funny, like the behind the scenes look, because it's just like, I hear the same intro three times. And after, <laughs> the, after the first two, it's like, fucking camping, fucking the And then it's just like, doof, 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 like chairs getting smacked. And then it's like, calm for one minute. It's like, Hey guys, today we're going to watch the Mario. That's so good. I'm just in bed, just being like, what the fuck is happening? It's like in three there? in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the start of a YouTube video is always the hardest it's as so well. Funny. Once you're rolling, it's fine, but that start is tough. I actually did do that um, recently. I was trying to think of a challenge to do, and I was going to do Switch Sports. Um, trying to what was it get the, <laughs> yeah. the highest rank, rank in each one and I started and I was like man this is pretty uh, repetitive and then I just switched to doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke yep so there you go so, you did yeah. scrap a video so we've all so scrapped did, a video yeah. at one point or another what's your best one that you've scrapped Jackson well actually I'm reshooting it this weekend Ooh. So Ooh, director Cogger content I'll coming. Well, no, don't, no promises because this is what always happens I go yeah new video coming out and then I don't oh, I don't really like it <laughs> You gotta just put it out there, man. Nah, I don't. I don't You're like. You're holding doing yourself that. to a standard that's unreasonically high. It yeah, means but I you get nothing out. Yeah, your like videos that. aren't that good, dude. You just gotta <laughs> fucking accept Wait, it. Do you see what I scrapped, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. What you're seeing is the cream of the crop. <laughs> Oh, Maybe just give it to Zach to save in editing. Yeah, that's I, d- I, did. I did that to a video of his one. Before, the cookie one. I did think I was literally going to throw it in the bin, but also I'm not. I'm not trying to like. Uh, it's more trying to create a portfolio than be a YouTuber. So yeah, it's a different sort sense. of thing than just throwing it out there. Yeah, because I think you guys are just like you got. You're trying to make videos. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We well, got to make something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway, next any, question. Any questions? Good questions. Yeah, very that's, good that's question. a very good question. Shout outs to what was it again? Oh, I ever scrapped a video, yeah. Cute Mimi Pugs 999. Nice. How about... See you on the Patreon. <laughs> yep. Uh, hang on. Right. How Great you guys- question. If we read your question out today, you're legally obliged to go over to the Patreon and... Uh, Pay. <laughs> and give us your money. <laughs> well, you've already got the best questions, yeah, so we, we need, want We, we need want you there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, pay them? shout outs to Val for the question. How do you guys maintain a work ethic without having a boss actively weighing down on you? Oh, I don't. <laughs> here's my, yeah, here's my secret, Cap. I don't. <laughs> I feel like you're a bit part. of a fiend though, right? Not recently. I, feel like, I think you're a bit of a just all out or maybe nothing I think for a while. Zach works in a burst. That's what, yeah, that's what you I was trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if you gave Zach a nine to five, he would crumble. But if you said, get this amount of work done every month, He'd You're probably totally be good day. at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like he could smash out it's time. in a couple da, 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 days da, da, da. and then, I don't know. Get a Can I preface this by you? saying that it's going to sound like the most first world YouTuber asshole problem? I think that's everything we say. Yeah. yeah, probably. Anyway, I have not been getting that much YouTube work done because I've been going on too many holidays. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Zach with the holiday flex again. No, it's, it's like... Hard to get it's back a into a rhythm. <laughs> it's a real problem, man. It's hard to get back into a rhythm yeah, when no, you're... I definitely think I have true. to force myself to, like... You get home from... Like, if I get home from a trip, Maddie's like, oh, got to go back to work tomorrow. It's Monday. She goes mm. to work and does work. I'm like, oh, I should probably start doing some work tomorrow. And then it's Monday. I'm like, oh, I'm chill. Yeah. I'm in vacay mode. Yeah. I actually did do the same thing after my Frisbee tournament on the weekend because, like, it's like a full Saturday and Sunday thing. Like, you, you, we play all day Saturday. You go home, rest, play all day Sunday, had a team night on the night. So, like, it's a full thing. On Monday, everyone's got to go back to work. And I'm just like, man, I kind of don't feel like it. I haven't had my weekend yet. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, not having someone telling you to do work there definitely affects It is affects surprisingly that. difficult, for mm. sure. Did I, you not think it was going to be difficult? Well, no. Wait, what? So, it surprised you, so? Oh, no, I think it's just surprisingly difficult for people on the outside, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. But I feel uh, like it sound, sounded very difficult to me and it has been very difficult for me. It's definitely, yeah. Like making yourself do work? Yeah. Like, and I can do it if I like sit down and force myself, but I don't know. There's something about easier about just like you're at work, there's nothing really else to do, you work. Yeah, if anyone's watching and it's like you, I guess the biggest thing for people who do have normal work is like uni work. If you like, if you've ever left an assignment late. Yeah, that's, same thing. That means it would be really hard for yeah. you. Oh, Game yeah. changer is having a separate studio or like yeah, place no to work in it, right? where you can divide it. Yeah. Like when I used to work in my bedroom, that I still got less work done. Or maybe I just, f- it felt like I was getting less work done. But then having a separate studio, you're like, okay, I'm going to go up. I'm going to do work in my studio. I've even considered like renting out a separate space to do 
work. For me, the biggest thing was just like setting a schedule for the week. Yeah, that's good. And then also because mm. I usually do it while Holly's gone to her work or something, where it's like, okay, it's time. Yeah, that's what I you operate do on. But yes. Like when uh, Brooks at work, I'm working. Well, yeah. That's what I try and do at least. I was thinking a while back uh, that we could have all gone in on the Underdog Studio. At yeah. the podcast room, we all have our set up there, but then I uh, and then I thought about that for ten more seconds, and I was like, "That's terrible." We the amount of time space. it would just take me to clean up, like my studio is sorted, got everything up there, moving that. Oh, it's such a pain. Also, adding a commute for absolutely no reason yeah. is so. <laughs> no, it's stupid. not no reason because you're there from nine to five and you get more know, work done. Like fighting traffic in the morning, you're like, "Yeah, I gotta go to my computer here because I can't do that from home." And then I'll pace. I want to be our boss, and if we ever, <laughs> if we ever lack it on YouTube, they're gonna come up behind you and smack you. Dude, honestly, having the um. The new organization, the the like the management agency, that helps me kick into gear because they're like, "Hey, got a sponsor that work, wants to work with you, but it's got to be in a video that oh, comes deadline. out by this date." I'm like, "Shit, I should make a video." Like, oh. it's almost like a boss. <laughs> and the only reason Peter makes videos is he gets sponsors. <laughs> no, it's because it puts a deadline on me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, deadlines are overpowered. Deadlines are crazy. I suck at them, but they're crazy. New little Z video. Deadlines are OP. Anyway, any next question. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite movie and TV show? Just quick. Interstellar and come back to me. All right. For the TV. Uh, one of the Star Warses. Um, Star Wars Z. TV show I liked. I've been watching Narcos recently. That's nice. No, that's a good one. Haven't finished it. Um, I'll go Adaptation, the movie, and Arrested Development, the TV show. Um, I'm not a big t- watcher person, but I'll go The Matrix and Rick and Morty. Ooh. Come Fuck. on, Zach. You got I, yeah, I had a favourite TV show and I've forgotten it. The Office. Can't be that much of a favourite, though. Yeah, I'll say The Office. Oh, I'm white. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> Pretty sure all races like The Office. Or is it just a white person thing? Breaking Bad was good. There was one I was watching recently. Bojack? No, Bojack's great, though. Zach's pissed about this one. <laughs> it'll, yeah. come, it'll come to you later. Just scream it when you remember I'll it. I'll say it during the intro of next week's what podcast. What did I even say? Oh, Star Wars. That's pretty good. You said you actually one it. of the Star Warses, I think, was your, <laughs> yeah. your, your phrase. Catch me if you can. That was a classic. Right. Kelvin writes, since the... <laughs> this one's great. Since the boost in subs and popularity, has anyone from your past tried to become friends with you for the wrong reasons? <laughs> E.g. No. a guy who Ooh. never spoke to you in secondary school being like, hey, can we hang out? Damn. Not as much hang out, but the people do try and talk to you about like their business shit. Yeah, okay. I hadn't thought about that angle because I was like, uh, no, the people that were bullies in high school have not reached out to me to be be friends. (laughs) Jackson, please. (laughs) Hey, man, saw you on that Smash Bros. YouTube, you fucking loser. (laughs) (laughs) They're still sending me videos of me saying, the moon landing's fake. (laughs) I'm still getting bullied. Doesn't matter how many subs I get, I'll never live that down. No, I can't really think no, nothing. I guess the business thing has happened to me a couple of times, but luckily I'm just like, well, I'm really not very popular. No, I do get what Peter was saying about the business thing. I met this random person at a party like two months ago. Yeah, another party, guys. Did Woo! you have fun at this you one? Absolute fiend. Uh, d- no karaoke. What were you saying? I was saying, did you have fun at this it one? kind of answered the yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this random person, I think it was someone there's boyfriend, but it was like a new boyfriend and he was coming Ooh. from FIFO did like fly and fly out working in the mines in Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they were, had recently moved to Perth and they were telling me all about some businessy thing they want. And then it's like at the end of the night when I'm leaving, like they've been trying to tell me about this thing all night. I've been giving them nothing. And then it's the, Oh, let me just give you my phone number. Oh, that's right, my hairdresser. Oh. Dude, come on. Yeah, I had that with the Uber driver. I don't oh. want to sell your shirts for you, man. Like it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm a YouTuber anymore. I yeah. just... I never say that. We're going incognito mode from now on. But yeah. You can say anything and be less embarrassing. Well, I think it's pretty cool. That's why everyone's grasping But it's like, how, how deep in the rabbit hole do you go, Jordan, if you say a fake job? I'm talking about if you don't say you're a YouTuber. Say you're like, oh, yeah, I'm a gigolo. And then they start don't out... Say it. <laughs> I reckon that's a good call. That's what good if call. they start asking <laughs> really <laughs> specific what questions? What is a gigolo? I don't even know. It's like a male like escort. A yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess or that's pretty simple, isn't it? Well, okay, yeah, so it's let, not let's go it? male stripper to be slightly more PG. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, I'm a stripper. Oh, yeah, what's the best like stripping move you've ever done, Jordan? You start oh. demoing because what the fuck are they going to go? No, it's not. No, you just go, you do not look like a stripper. <laughs> John's like, they're not yeah. going to say that. I they're think probably if you said anything with confidence, what are they going to say back? I'm just like, oh, yeah, the spread behemoth. <laughs> yeah, the upside down octopus. That's yeah. my favorite. Can you give they're us like, a look at that one. <laughs> 
I, I haven't got my pole here, so yeah, I can't. Yeah, so I can't do it, sorry. Well, that's yeah. all right. So. I, reckon, I reckon go deep down the rabbit hole. Why not? What are they going to do? Like, What's tell you the you're classic wrong? one? You always say you're an accountant. If no, you say, say you're something really cool that everyone respects. Like, Astronaut. I'm, a, I'm a firefighter. Maybe I should yeah, try saved a Yeah, saved a dog and a small girl from a fire on the weekend. Wow. wow. But then people find out you're a liar and they're like, why did he lie about that? I thought the whole deal was they're never going to find out you're a liar. I think oh, what kind of what they cut your it? hair and then they see a tattoo of like oh, the Smash about, logo on the back of your people. head. <laughs> they're like, wait a minute. Too, I can tell. <laughs> At the hairdressers next time, we should all just say we're firefighters. How funny. How funny when Jordan's like, yeah, I'm a firefighter. Someone else comes in, they're like, is that Popper One from YouTube? <laughs> we my should, side we should oh, do yes, this. my firefighting YouTube. We should do this as a social experiment. What? Next yeah. time we get a haircut, let's all give each other a job. Next time we have a haircut, we'll talk and uh, we'll say we have that job and we'll come back and report back whenever we get a haircut. Well, right, well, I, got a, I got a big mop on my head. I need a haircut. Yeah. What am I saying I am? I right? just what, had what a haircut. What should we make, Zach? I take every three months. Now, be kind, guys. No, you're doing something cool. I think firefighters chill. Um, Firefighting is, well, it's very hard to get into. What about an inventor and you tell them about the thing you invented? Oh, go God, on. it's my regular hairdresser. <laughs> oh. I got I got to go to a new one. Yeah, does, does he know? know? You should go I to d- a different I don't one. think so. I'm a big fan of him because he doesn't talk to me. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're oh, this oh, oh, by the way, look <laughs> at my invention. <laughs> what am I inventing? This chair has three legs, but it still works. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> What's something that pe- what are people, if, if I knew what people invented, I'd just invent it, wouldn't I? Yeah. It's, See, a, they- <laughs> it's a bit rough. It's a bit of an insane. I think the hard part is everything good has already been invented. No, so you're really no. scraping the no, bottom see, of the they barrel. they said that in the 1900s. They would say that all the time. Yeah. They said yeah. that literally like 1901, someone from Philosopher was quoted saying- Literally smartphones came everything. out, what, 20 years ago? So I reckon, years? Zach, Jeez. you go, you say you're an inventor, and when they ask you what kind of thing you invent, you say you can't tell them because then they would steal your inventions. Patent pending. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. I can't tell you. And then, that's it, and then you don't have to talk to the guy anymore. Like, you're done. <laughs> what like, have you, you invented? Don't have to talk yeah, you're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm you're like oh, what did you invent? I'm like, <laughs> nice try, man. <laughs> 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 Uh, not, not today. Not yeah. today. What's the most recent thing that's Thought been invented? We wouldn't even know. The most recent thing. Well, at least you know about. Probably like new AI for some oh, yeah, true, true. weird shit. Yeah, that you know the, the AI that makes the pictures that you, you put yeah, the text in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. that's pretty good. That's good, good. Great invention. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking at those last last night, night before last, and I was just cackling because it's of how fun. wrong it gets people's faces. Yes. It, it just hasn't them. quite worked out how faces work. And we were watching, so will like, that just keep getting better? Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. The every, more you feed it. Yeah. Well, you know when you do captures and yeah. it's like, tell Where's me every cat? photo oh, with a dog in it. That's, that's what that training AI. 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 Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wait, they're training AI to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the whole point. You, have you ever realized it's always like, what's a traffic light? It's for self-driving cars. And like, what's a motorbike so it can identify things when you're going past? Yeah, you're trained wow. AI every time you do a capture. It's pretty cool. Hmm. I never knew that. But then I got one the other day that was like every one that has a dog in it, and I'm like, why the fuck do the AI need to know this? They are they're getting more well, sophisticated. Wait till you find now, out. So yeah, <laughs> it's That's like almost scary. What if it sees a dog and a person? Who's it meant to steer into? True, the dog, the dog probably. Away right? from it's grim, say. but it's true. <laughs> No, no, they have to choose one, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, with the trolley problem, the why doesn't the person tr- are right next to each other? Which one, one do we do? <laughs> like with the trolley problem, why don't they just get bl- bloody like Gromit to build a third railway track? True. Don't kill anyone. So you know smart. Wallace and Gromit, where he's like, yeah, slapping and he's putting the rails in front of the trolley. But I'll take your word for it. He's like building the railway as it goes. Here's another example, Jackson. Steve on his minecart from Minecraft. No, I understand the analogy. I just have never seen it before. Gromit, right? Oh, here <laughs> we in go. A mine oh, I mean it now. <laughs> if it's like if you were on a river and then they had another river and it went above. What the fuck are you saying, George? <laughs> I was trying to add in on the joke. Uh, this sounds like a great time to ask for the pop at one yeah. question. Of the How long have we been going for, by the way? Feels like a while, right? An hour. An hour. Right. Should we finish with the pop at okay. question of the week? Um, or oh. this question could be a bit controversial, I guess, a bit risky. Oh, we can cut it off. So it's if you right. don't hear a question, but, um, it was too controversial. No, no, we'll leave it in. I an guess hour I in. was just wondering. Oh no! What is the point of people wanting to know if God is real? It's, it's not really controversial. Um, um, because let's say we live in a world where it's like, oh, this is why we're here. God did. God's yeah, there. Yeah. He made us. Yeah. Then it's just like, well, where the fuck did he come from? It never ends. Well, people want to know so they can see if they should be devoting their life to doing the right things to go to heaven. So you're saying who made God? Exactly. 
It's a bit, or even if we're like, oh, that's the Big Bang started. Saying, it? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Right. Or even if it's like, oh, the Big Bang started this, it did this, and then, and then we're all here. And it's like, well, how'd that start? Well, like, then, I think well, it's a never ending. Well, for starters, if we found that out for fact, yeah. uh, then we could like get rid of religions. So hey, good luck that with would that. Be good. <laughs> well, if we found that as a fact, then you literally could. That's a good mm. reason to do that. I mean, I we found out for though. a fact that the Earth is round, but look what the fuck we've got going on. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I guess I don't know. Yeah, that's what they're trying to find out. Humans though, aren't think. that simple, Jackson. Nah, but it's like, but yeah. that's what they're trying to do. Not saying they could literally do it, but that's the aim, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Glad we saved the deep <laughs> God universe. Could still the universe. Saved it for the end, this Could very deep the God universe. universe podcast. Okay, Look, I'm trying not to get bogged down too hard in philosophical and scientific details. things. I'm trying to think of how to make a joke about this, but I actually can't. Yeah. All I'm saying <laughs> is, actually don't no know matter what, what you find out created the universe, yeah. then what created that? And it never ends. It's just, we shouldn't even care. True. Like, oh, it's God. God made us. Oh, we figured it out. That's why we're here. Well, you're kind of asking it's an like, existential question. Then it's like, hang on. This right. is philosophy, Jordan. You've yeah. discovered philosophy. Oh, but then who made that? <laughs> that? Exactly. It's never it goes ends. on forever. It's like those Russian dolls. There's always exactly. something on the outside, something bigger. And you keep opening and opening and opening the Russian dolls. Yeah. yeah. The Babushka dolls is the what they're called. Babushka. I'm just saying to people who would be like, oh, it would be like, oh, that's why we're here. It's like, well, hang on. No. It keeps I going. think it is human nature to ask the questions. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily looking for the final answer. That's crazy. Well, that's all. There's my real, real, real question answered. Well, have a think about all right, that. All right, Jordan, I've got a question for you, Jordan. Oh, my God. All right, this my is my new favorite segment. This is the same, <laughs> same thing, right? <laughs> the Peter asked right, Jordan so like, a question. <laughs> things are made out of atoms. Atoms? Yep, atoms. Not Eve. Adam. Adam. And okay. Eve. Atoms. 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 What are atoms made out of? Atom? I don't know. Haven't looked. Well, they made out of quarks or something. Haven't Jordan, looked. get a real close look. Like, really squint I'm at Google. your finger. I'm yeah, Google. if you can say like subatomic particles, like quarks and stuff, what are those made out of? Exactly. Yeah, I guess you just what are those made out of? It's just yeah. smaller yeah. quarks. This That's is like when I'm a saying. kid keeps asking you, why? But oh, it's, it's, no, still, Jordan, really it's still it. important to understand how atoms work, even though they're made out of smaller things that you still don't understand. What? Oh my god! I don't know why you tried that. Wait, <laughs> did you get what I'm saying here? Yeah, right? Of yeah, course, yeah. it's very simple. Yeah. So, like, to understand something, you don't need to know where it came from. You still understand the nature of that thing. Yes. There you go. Damn. Even though you can go infinitesimally small and ask more questions, it's still good to understand. It's a really good way of pointing, putting it. But I think Jordan still doesn't quite seem to be grasping the concept you're putting. No, out. I don't I'm know if we're going to be grasping the concept of not only God and the ma <laughs> massive expanse of the universe, but also quarks and what is smaller than quarks. We're reaching a little higher for this fucking podcast. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> go to the Patreon, yeah. I guess. I don't know. And Jordan and, and will, continue. will continue discussing this. Yeah, maybe yeah, we'll, no. we'll, let's go. Let's have a deep dive I together. I feel like I'm stunned. Okay, so basically <laughs> this is going to be the end of the podcast for most people watching on YouTube. But if you would like to hear an extra 30, 40 minutes of content, we don't know how long, an extended episode, it's going to be already over on patreon.com slash underdogspod. $5 a month and you'll get access to that plus all of the rewards we mentioned earlier. I feel like this conversation is not selling it. <laughs> and it'll be live. <laughs> you can There's change the subject. There's going to be much better things than this conversation. That's the best selling point. You can always change the subject of the yeah. uh, oh, extended fuck, sorry, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, end the podcast. Great episode, fellas. <laughs> So do we just keep talking now? Can I go do a Are we actually Wait, ending? just